Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about harmonic sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So the harmonic sequence class is actually the reciprocal of the arithmetic sequence. This is the formula of harmonic sequence. That would be a sub n equals 1 all over the first term plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. Now, do you still remember class in arithmetic sequence? Example 3, 5, 7, 9. To know if this is arithmetic sequence, of course, you need to get the common difference. And to get the common difference, simply subtract the second term by the first term. So 5 minus 3, that's 2. The third term by the second term, 7 minus 5, is 2. 9 minus 7, the fourth term, minus the third term, is 2. Now, if the common difference are the same, therefore, this will be an arithmetic sequence. Now, the harmonic sequence class is simply get the reciprocal of this one, and that would be the harmonic sequence. For this number 3, whole number 3, of course, we know that the whole number, there is a denominator of 1. So, to get the reciprocal of this one, simply put this 3 on the denominator and put this 1 on the numerator. So, the reciprocal of 3, that would be 1 third. So, for 5, of course, once again, for number 5, a whole number 5 has a denominator of 1. To get the reciprocal of this 5, just simply put 1 on the numerator, and 5 will be on the denominator. So that would be 1 fifth. Same with 7. That's 1 over 7. And for 9, that's 1 over 9. So therefore, this, and this is an arithmetic sequence. Now to get the harmonic sequence of this given arithmetic sequence, just get the reciprocal and this will be your answer. This will be the harmonic sequence. I hope you get this one class. The harmonic sequence is the reciprocal of the arithmetic sequence. So the harmonic sequence is the reciprocal of this arithmetic sequence. So let's try to answer number one. So find the tenth term of the given harmonic sequence. So we have one half, one over seven, one over twelve, and one over seventeen. So the thing that you will do, class, for you to answer this harmonic sequence is we need to convert this harmonic sequence into arithmetic sequence so that we can find the common difference easily. So to convert this one, okay, to convert one half, once again, one half, one over seven, one over twelve, and one over seventeen. This is an harmonic sequence given. So we convert this one into arithmetic sequence. So get get the reciprocal, and that would be the arithmetic sequence. So for one half, of course, one half get the reciprocal. Okay, so 2 will be on the numerator and 1 will be the denominator. So 2 over 1 or 2 divided by 1 is 2. So the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. The reciprocal of 1 over 7 is 7. The reciprocal of 1 over 12, that's 12. The reciprocal of 1 over 17 is 17. So once again, this is the harmonic sequence and this will be the arithmetic sequence. Now, we need to get the common difference for us to solve this equation. So once again, if given harmonic sequence, you need to convert that into arithmetic sequence so that we can use this equation. So get the common difference, 7 minus 2, that's 5. Alright, 12 minus 7 is 5. And 17 minus 12 is 5. So therefore, the common difference is 5. So now we can use the formula since we already have the common difference and the first term. Okay, so this will be a sub, we're looking for the 10th term. a sub 10 equals 1 over the first term. Okay, once again, use the arithmetic sequence. The first term is 2 plus, right, n is the number of terms. We're looking for the 10th term, 10 minus 1, and the common difference is 5. Alright, so this will be, I hope you understand this one class, I will be erasing this one. So this will be a sub 10 equals 1 over 2 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 5. Once again, do not forget PEMDAS, multiplication comes first before adding this number. So this will be 1 over 2 plus 9 times 5 is 45. So our a sub 10 equals 1 over 2 plus 45, that would be 47. So the 10th term of this given sequence, using the formula of harmonic sequence, that would be a 
a sub 10 is equals to 1 over 47. That's the answer, class, for number 1. Alright, even if we try to do it manually, so, once again, don't forget, let me just, you pause the video, class, because I will be erasing this one. We will be checking it manually. So, once again, a sub 10, the 10th term, that's 1 over 47. Alright, let's do it manually. So, using the given arithmetic sequence, once again, that is 2... 7, 12, 17. Of course, the common difference is 5, right? 7 minus 2 is 5. And then 5, 17 minus 12 is 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. Now, to get the next number, of course, we can add. Because 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17. Therefore, 17 plus 5, this is 22. And 22 plus 5, that would be 27. 27 plus 5, that is 32. 32 plus 5, that is 40. Uh, sorry, 37. 37 plus 5, that is 42. 42 plus 5, that is 47. 1, 2, 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the third term of the arithmetic sequence, that's 47. Now, since we're looking for the harmonic sequence, the 10th term of the given harmonic sequence. So get the reciprocal of 47. Understood that 47 has a denominator of 1. And get the reciprocal, that would be 1 over 47. That's why we get 1 over 47 a while ago. Alright, so let's try number 2 class. Then you try number 3 class. Okay, you try it and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you really understand this one. Number 2. Once again, to answer this one is we need to get the common difference. So, let's have this one. This will be 3. So, let's make this one first. Find the 7th term of the given harmonic sequence. 3 over 7, 1 over 3, 3 over 11, and 3 over 13. Once again, to answer this one is we need to convert this given numbers into arithmetic sequence. So, let me just write it here. 3 over 7, 1 third, 3 over 11, and 3 over 13. This will be the given harmonic sequence. Let's convert this one into arithmetic sequence. This will be get the reciprocal 7 over 3 3 over 1 3 over 1 or 3. We can write 3 plus because 3 divided by 1 is 3 Okay, 3 reciprocal of this one 11 over 3 and the reciprocal of 3 over 13 that's 13 over 3 This will be the arithmetic sequence. So we will be using this one to find the 7th term Okay, to find the seventh term. Okay, so okay, get the common difference first so that we can use this formula. 3 minus 7 over 3. So 3 minus 7 over 3. So once again, the second term minus the first term. So 3 minus 7 over 3. So once again, understood that there's one on the denominator of a whole number 3. If the denominators are not the same, find the LCD. I hope you remember fractions class. Unlike signs, uh, sorry, unlike denominators, if the denominators are not the same, simply find the LCD. So the LCD is 3. And then you divide, this will be 3, divide 1 is 3, 3 divided by 1 is 3, times 3 is 9, minus, copy minus sign, 3 divided by 3 is 1, times 7, that is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2, then copy 3. 2 thirds. So the common difference class is 2 thirds. Okay, but you also need to check the third term minus the second term, the fourth term minus the third term, to check if they have really the same common difference. So the common difference is 2 thirds. Let me just write here 2 thirds. Okay, let's check. 11 minus 3, second term, Minus, uh, no, sorry, third term minus the second term, minus 3. Alright, understood that there's one here. So, denominator, LCD, unlike, unlike denominator, find the LCD. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 11, that's 11. Minus 3 divided by 3 is 3, times 3 is 9. Uh, sorry, 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 3 is 9. Once again, 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 11, that's 11. Minus 3 divided by 1 is 3 
times 3 is 9. Then subtract 11 minus 9 is 2. Copy 3. Two thirds. The same same answer class. Okay. So 11 minus 3 over 11 over 3 minus 3. That is 2 thirds. Let's check this one class. Last one. So this will be 13 over 3 minus 11 over 3. Of course, if the denominators are the same, simply copy the denominator and subtract the numerator. Rules and fraction class. 13 minus 11, that's 2. 2 thirds. Same answer, so 2 thirds. So we get the common difference. Alright, the common difference is 2 thirds. Now we can use the formula class. Okay, let's use the formula. Remember this one class? The common difference is 2 thirds. So we can now use the formula. So this will this will be a sub 7. So a sub 7 equals 1 over. So the first term. Okay, let's write it once again. This is 7 over 3. 3 over 1 or 3. Okay, let me just write 3 over 1 or 3. 11 over 3 and 13 over 3. So once again, class, you need to get the arithmetic sequence of this given harmonic sequence for you to use this formula. Okay, because this formula on the bottom part is an arithmetic sequence formula. So this is will, this will be the arithmetic sequence of this given harmonic sequence. Okay, once again, this is harmonic sequence. This is the arithmetic sequence. We get the reciprocal of harmonic sequence and that would be the arithmetic sequence. So the first term is 7 over 3 plus the number of terms we're looking to find the seventh term okay seventh term so therefore the number of terms that will be seven terms so seven minus one times d okay seven minus one times d so e sub seven equals one over okay, one over seven over three plus by the way the common difference is two thirds we checked that a while ago we checked that a while ago, class. That is two thirds. Okay, the common difference is two thirds. I forgot that one. I'm sorry, class. The common difference is two thirds. So this will be seven minus one is six. Okay, times two over three. Times two thirds. So that will be a sub seven equals one over seven over three plus six. Okay, six times two thirds. So you can actually cancel six and two, class. Uh, sorry, six and three. Because 6 divided by 3 is 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. So that's the answer. 6 times 2 thirds, there would be 4. But if you're confused with that one, go ahead. You can do it this way. 6 times 2 thirds, you can multiply. You can multiply 6 by 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. And then, of course, there's 1 in, this, there's one in 6. Denominator of 1 on 6. Do not forget that any whole number, there is a denominator of 1. So 1 times 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So once again, multiply the numerator. 6 times 2 is 12. Multiply the denominator. 1 times 3 is 3. And then divide. You get 4. But it's easy class. You can just simply divide 6 by 3. And it will be 2. Then 2 times 2 is 4. So two solutions class, it will be acceptable. So 7 over 3 plus 4. Alright. So 7 over 3 plus 4. So that would be 7 and... so. 7 over 3 plus 4. Let, let's just add this one and like, and like denominator. So 7 over 3 plus 4. Okay. Once again, 4 here as a denominator of 1. So the LCD of 3 and 1, that is, that is 3. Sorry. The LCD of 3 and 1, that is 3. Alright. And then you divide 3 divided by 3. Once again, if the denominators are not the same, you find the LCD. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 7 is 7. Plus, okay, 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 4. So 3 times 4, that is 12. And 7 plus 12. So 7 plus 12, that is 7 plus 12, that is 19 over 3. So this will be 1 over 19 over 3. Okay, 1 over 19 over 3. So once again, 7 plus 4, 7 over 3 plus 4, 7 over 3 plus 4, 
Unlike denominators, you find LCD, which is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 7 is 7 plus 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 4 is 12. You add 7 plus 12 is 19, then copy denominator of 3. Now, we're not yet done because we need to divide 1 divided by 19 over 3. So, this will be 1 divided by 19 over 3. Once again, rules in dividing fractions. You need to get the reciprocal of the divisor and then you proceed to multiplication. Instead of division, you proceed to multiplication. So this will be 1 times, get the reciprocal of the divisor, get the reciprocal of this one, this will be 3 over 19. And then we multiply. Understood that the whole number, there is a denominator of 1. So 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 19 is 19. That's the answer class, 3 over 19. So, our a sub 7 is 3 over 19. Okay, a sub 7, let me just write it here. a sub 7 equals 3 over 19. Alright, so a sub 7 is equals to 3 over 19. And this is already the harmonic sequence class because we use the harmonic sequence formula. Alright, so that's it class. That's how you find the harmonic sequence. That's how you solve the harmonic sequence class. I hope this video helps and if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends class and to your classmates so that we can help them. And once again, you find you find the eighth term of this given harmonic sequence and you put your answer in the comment section down below. I hope you learned something new today class. If you have some question, do not hesitate to ask because we will be answering that one. You share it to your classmates class so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!